Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Ivo, my husband. What will I do? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... <laughs> he was convinced that... <laughs> We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Rebellion! We need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! Revelio. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellio. Wolves, prepare for the fight. Yabinga. 
Incendio. Revelio. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have really death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. Rebellion! But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. They deserved. Revelio.
You don't let me know. Can bring us. Expel the armor. This aren't my one. Revelio. Repairer. Levioso. Who's there? Hush now. Rebellion. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. Your mother sent us to find you. I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora.
I'm my uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts. 
so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse. Also known as the Torture Curse. Inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Thank you. 
Revelio. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. As Deke was saying, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Thank you. 
regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. But my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Professor Howen will never believe this.
What did you need me to do, Deke? Deke's friend, Tobbs, collects leech juice from a spider-infested cave near Hogwarts. But Deke hasn't heard from Tobbs in a while. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Defender! Ah, there you are. What say we pick up the pace a bit? I need to race now, my friend. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Tobbs's master is awful. Revelio. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Incendio! Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Defender. Rebellion. as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Yeah. 
You're so foul. Confringo! Revelio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Rebellion. Let me answer. 
Confirm. Revelio.
Feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Rebellion. table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Incendio. Revelio. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he... died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> 